you mentioned the visuals. Uh, I, I read somewhere that you said that you are sometimes even more inspired by visuals than, than music. Yes. How do, how, does, um, how do these visuals inspire you to make music? I don't know. I think just because I see the record in colour, I see the record as being purple. Um, I, I see all the songs as being very visual. Like when I write a song, I, I know straight away if I want to have the song for myself or if I wanted to give it to someone else mm -hmm. by the fact, like if I can think of a music video for it, if I can see the music video, I know that I'm connected to it and I want it for myself. And I have to have that visual connection with it. It has to feel like, I know I have to be able to place it in a film or right. something or just, I don't know why, but. What comes know. first and the, the visual image or the song? The, or does it happen at the same the time? The song comes first, definitely. But then after the song, it's straight away like, what's the music video going to be? Let's shoot the music video now. You know, I'm really, right. more, I'm really excited about that rather than about mixing the song. Right. But I, I think that's just because I'm, I don't know, maybe just because I, I don't have patience and because I'm, I don't know, I'm like a puppy. I'm like, let's play rather than right. let's do details, you know? <laughs> so, so I assume you're very involved in the, the process of making the video yeah. and, and in the creative process? Yeah, well, um, the guy who directs my videos, Brian Andrews, we live together, so we're always like making videos and making content and, you know, editing photos and, and just coming up with new ideas for the videos, just because it's kind of like all we do. <laughs> um, and you, uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, have you ever thought about, because of this visual uh, interest and, and you went to art school, have you ever had the, the, the inclination to go and become a art, uh, an artist, a visual artist? Um, yeah, I mean... Or do, do you ever paint? Or? I used to, but I'm, it's kind of embarrassing, though. Like, I'm not very good. It's very... Um, I don't know, it's kind of like, I don't know if you have that shop paper chase, but it's kind of like the artwork that you'd find on stationery. <laughs> like, okay. yeah, it's really crap, but I like it. I don't know. Like I, show, I showed my, I did these drawings of unicorns, which is so rubbish. Like they really are, they're good drawings. They're like My Little Ponies, like straddling like penises and <laughs> stuff like that. And, uh, they're really bad, they're really rubbish. There's like no deep meaning behind it at all. <laughs> like, okay. you, do you know what I mean? Right. I showed them to this musician, Blood Diamonds. I was like, they're really good. He was like, no, they're terrible. <laughs> Don't show them to anyone. I was like, okay, I won't. Um, so no, I, I wouldn't become a visual artist um, because I'm a songwriter and that, that is what I do love. You know, I do love writing songs. Um, well, you mentioned the person, uh, your, your songs. How, how much are, to what extent are the songs, they're all love songs, are they um, autobiographical or are, are all of them? Um, some are autobiographical, some are about specific people, but some are just kind of about like feelings that I think about. Um, like Stay Away, for example, is about being like unhealthily obsessed with someone. And I think I've had that before, but not to the point where it's like, you know, some people kind of like kill themselves for mm -hmm. love. And like, I think that stay away was kind of me thinking about that, but that's not something that I've been through, but just me thinking about that idea and, you know, you know I don't know. Exploring. Yeah, but I haven't done that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah. Um, well, uh, can you give me an example of a, of a song where it was uh, very personal? Well, maybe you don't want to talk about it, but something that was uh, yeah, I mean, taken from your Yeah, I mean, What I Like, which is the song that I, recent, I just recently mm -hmm. put online, uh, is just about me fantasizing about being in love and like, I don't know, like quitting life and just going and like living by the beach mm. in like a, on like a remote island with just one person there and just being like there and you're like so perfect and cute together and like nothing else like affects you in the outside world and it's just 
like the two of you, you know, mm -hmm. that was kind of about that and like the relationship that I'm in, I guess, and what I'm experiencing. Is, is that the way you see your own relationship now? One, one of bliss, basically, where, where it's... Um, yeah, kind of. I mean, no. no. <laughs> kind of, like some days, you okay. know. But then it's like, I'm in an industry that's really fucked up. So in it's, what way? Well, you know, it's like just difficult to have. It's 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 easy to have a relationship, but I think it's sometimes difficult to not be like affected by what's going on around you for the other person to not be like affected. Do you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. But like, if you kind of like put a curtain around it, then it's perfect. But there's always like, I don't know, other people affect it. Just fleeting, fleeting moments. And, uh, I guess, yeah. I don't know. That's I don't know. I haven't I haven't explained that very well. I feel like yes, I'm in bliss. I am in bliss. But like, there's like clouds surrounding the bliss, which I think most people are aware of when you are in a relationship. But you're in kind of like an industry like this, you know? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> do, do you need um, to be in that? Um, uh, bliss to, to write songs or can it come from anywhere? No, I don't, but I like it. Like, okay. I'm really happy, you know. Okay. <laughs>